Hi, it's Mark here from the Jeepster Man. Today we're going to talk distributors, specifically on the 225B6 odd fire. We get a lot of uh, confusion here because if you don't put them in correctly, they won't run quite right, even though they will run. And we call this a tooth off. Um, there's some debate sometimes on being able to drop a distributor in and line it up with your cap on the number one wire based on your cap, uh, the plug wire that's going to your number one cylinder and your number one plug and your number one plug wire where it's located on the cap. Don't use that method when you do this. What's really critical when you do this is first of all to line the timing marks up. And if you look down here, what we do is we take a piece of chalk and right off the bat, we make sure that you can see our timing mark. You see that little piece of chalk right there. And we line it up at the zero position. And there's an indicator down there. It's hard to see, but it actually will tell you zero degrees. So we try to line those two up. And then over here in your number one cylinder, your number one cylinder has to be top dead center. Uh, and the way to do that is to rotate your engine and line up your timing marks and make sure that you can take a small screwdriver and actually stick it in there and feel the top of your piston. So I took this spark plug out and you can see right there, there's the top of that piston. Just don't leave the screwdriver in there, whatever you do. Right, John? And the reason why, when you do this, now you're dealing with a whole complete different issue. I'm not going to pull this distributor out here, but I'm going to show you what it looks like on another one that I have that's already out. So these gears here actually move. When you pull them out, they'll move. So when you put them back in, um, instead of pointing here, it's going to want to jump to the next tooth. That's the confusion that goes on with getting them on the wrong tooth or getting them a tooth off. So what you have to do is keep pulling it out until it finally drops. And sometimes they move, sometimes they don't. This is the oil pump gear that's connected to this on the end of your uh, camshaft. And that's what's going on. It's working at oil pump gear. It's not working anything in the engine. It's not turning the camshaft. It's not turning anything. It's just the gears are catching and this helix shaped gear, when you pull it out, causes it to spin and move. So you want to work it until you can drop it completely down in there into the proper position. And that proper position, I call it the 10 after 12 position. And you notice how the, um, the vacuum advance is kind of pointing off a little bit to the side. And then this distributor cap, um, when everything's top dead center, your timing marks lined up and you got it in correctly, it's just off the center of this radiator a little bit. And again, we call that about the 10 minute after 12 position or 12, 15, somewhere in that area. But if you're a tooth off, it'll be over here or it'll be back here. And many people try to spin their distributor around to make up for that tooth off condition, whether it's forward or back. And they will run, but they will misfire at higher RPMs. I could try to explain to you why it does that, but I'm just not quite that deep. Odd fires are a little bit unique in that they are a V8 with the two front cylinders cut off. So it's a complete different uh, timing rotation and the way that that works um, from a regular even fire engine. So that's why the tooth off is really critical on this one. You can't just line up your cap to number one where the rotor's pointing and hope everything's all right. It will run, but it will misfire on you, especially at higher RPMs. So that's your correct position. Uh, and that includes HEI as well. Um, however, I would prefer that if you're putting an HEI in, that you look out on the uh, American Jeepster Commando Club or Jeepster Commando Club of America. There's a couple people that have put some really good videos out there. Uh, we can help guide you to that if you need, if you're working with an HEI but really critical that you don't end up with a tooth off position. So once again, compression stroke, number one piston, top dead center, timing marks lined up in the zero position, and your distributor rotor pointing at about that 10 minutes, 15 minutes after 12 o'clock position that we talked about right here. Thank you.